Hello everyone, welcome to this really quick tutorial about this new tool to offset the keyframes and the lifetime of a um, selected node. On my website you can also find uh, all the links and references uh, where I took part uh, of this code. Um, and thank you to all the artists that shared their uh, creations. Why am I doing this? Uh, uh, of course you can tell me uh, to shift every animation just to put time offset uh, node after the uh, of course the, the node that you want to shift and just put the 50 frames and that's it that's one way of course the other way is to select the node go to deep sheet just select everything with ctrl a and just move it by i don't know 50 frame and press to move this is uh, the second way but of course, um, I wanted to do this tool especially because sometimes some artists are using the lifetime uh, lifetime range here and of course uh, you want to offset also this one but especially because of the roto paint. So for example, um, last week I've got one, um, one shot that we have to offset everything so not just the animation but also of course the Roto paint, the clones, and everything by 50, 100 frames, uh, and so on. So, how could you do that? Of course, uh, you can just go there, just modify, I mean, brush by brush, uh, clone by clone. But of course, I didn't want to do that because there were thousands, hundreds of these. So, that's why I'm doing this really quick tutorial. How it works uh, and how you can just get it run. So you can find the code on my website and copy it here directly in the script editor. If you don't have it already open, you can just go there, window, uh, script editor, and it's here. Just control C and control V here. This is the code that you have. Just remember that uh, if you want to run it, you have to select before your node that you want to offset. In this case, uh, uh, I will start with the blur. So I just put uh, two keyframes, one in uh, um, uh, at frame one and the second one at frame uh, 20. So easier. Let's see uh, how we, we can just get it run. Select everything just with Ctrl A and press Ctrl Enter on your keyboard to get this window. So offset animation the name of the node, blur1, the number of frames, so let's put 50, ok, and you see here we have the same uh, result that we had before just pressing here on the move button, and that's one example. The second one with the transform, imagine here if you wanna use the lifetime range, just selecting this one. I mean, I don't like to use this one here. I rather, I don't know, use the, I don't know in this case, the switch node, or you can just uh, uh, disable the, um, I mean, just get the default values to zero, zero, if you want just to stop the animation or whatever you want. But sometimes, I mean, some artists likes to do, um, uh, to use the lifetime range. So same here, select the node, Go here, Ctrl A, Ctrl Enter, and just 50 frames again. Uh, do you want to offset the lifetime of the node as well? Um, why before we didn't get this one? Because before uh, the blur node was not selected the lifetime, uh, the checkbox. So if I press yes, of course I go here and I see it has been uh, translated, shifted by 50 frames. So before it was 1 and 20. Now, of course, it's 51 and 70 by 50 frames. Uh, the Roto node. So here, what I have, I have just one quick Bezier. Uh, I animated the opacity uh, at frame 1 and 20, and also the shape. My shape is animated, you see, uh, I, I mean, how we changing uh, and if I go here I see the same uh, uh, I mean two keyframes for the curve for the opacity um, at the same frame 1 and 20 
So same as before, select the roto, just go here, control A, control enter, let's put 50. Okay. Uh, do you want to offset the lifetime for each shape and stroke? Um, I will say no in this case because I'm using okay and now uh, I will get this new uh, message uh, I will get this message only for the roto and the roto paint nodes because um, I didn't get how to translate as you can see here how to translate the curves so what we have to do is going here just select my curve uh, 50 as before and press move I mean it will translate everything so opacity um, the lifetime in this case the life and if I go here uh, this one will change as well if I press yes of course on the message button um, but I don't know how to translate the uh, keyframe on the single curve so if you have the answer please uh, tell me so I can do it and now let's see uh, the last example here I have one roto paint with different um, with different options so for example I have two clones here uh, is just one single paint at frame 20 just for the single frame uh, one brush I mean the brush has the life between 1 and 20 second brush from start to 20 and the last erase for example eraser for example from 20 till the end so um, I'm just changing here this one and let's see uh, how it works so same select enter and same as before let's put 50 okay in this case I will press yes and okay I accept this one so let's see now um, every single brush, paint, stroke, whatever has been shifted, counting also the life here. Uh, that's why I mean I'm using this one. Otherwise, I have to go, um, I mean, stroke by stroke, uh, whatever, to change the lifetime. That's why I didn't want to do that, and that's why you can use this script. And the last thing, if you want just to uh, shift everything, you can just uh, go here. I mean everything I mean if you want to shift every single curve you can just go here select every um, everything and just go here I put 50 move and that's it so now what I have I have this one the lifetime that has been changed here I changed the frame where I did the paint now it's 50 before it was 20 so it's correct this is correct so I would say that I mean should be fine everything so we change really quickly uh, the animation the classic animation here or every single knob the lifetime this one here and um, at the end also the animation of uh, the opacity I mean every single knob for the roto paint and um, roto uh, nodes um, and uh, last thing we have to change just manually here the um, animation of the curb of the stroke of the shape whatever um, but I mean if you can help me just to get the last uh, uh, this last uh, option I would be really really happy thank you um, to watch it this really quick tutorial and let me know if you will find any trouble to get the final result or if you find something that i can add to this tool i would be really really happy to get your feedback thank you bye bye